look what the buyers look like here. Sunny with a smoke and a kit to kick things off. On the other side, we're going to have P250s in play. Three P250s, Alex. What Maiden is... has one, Farley has one, and Zen as well. Okay, I kind of like it. These weapons really help you take yard, oh, yeah. and there is a prime example as to why. No longer at a disadvantage when going USP on P250. In fact, that long-range benefit really getting you across. Smoke will not enable them to get across. Sergey's getting that info for free. Maiden's having a great start here. Low HP, long shots, head shots, and now trying to pivot back towards They're the upper side. Yeah. yeah. Makes a lot of sense. They rotate it off. It's a wide open site. This is a fantastic T pistol. Tidy. The kit's down towards main as well, so they can actually control that on the T side to make sure the ends can't pick it up for a quick defuse. We do see a lobby crunch coming in, Sergei towards top ladder, and I think the danger man is Alu coming up secret. He needs to find a kill here quickly. Okay, that's three from Maiden, and that's all they need. That is surely okay. the round. Sergei's hitting some bangers, though. Maybe we're onto something a little more oh. elaborate. Sergei, no, no, he's tapped away at Farley, down to 23. The kit was at Main. Great shooting, suppressing what looked to be a flawless T pistol. But regardless, the one is in that column, and that's going to be a tough decision for them to deal with now. Looks like we're going to be seeing Godsend up for, oh, wait, the Crystal Mac 10, bro. I've got a feeling. Yeah. He's well. bounding off the silo. He's strafing around corners. He's going squeaky fast. They do like to put the SMGs to good use here on Godsend's T side nuke. Can make a lot of space with it, Carney. You, yeah. you pointed it out before when we were getting into Godsend in the second half of the season. Even when he has enough money to go for an AK, he'll just go with the Mac 10 purely to find space for his team. The jumping ability with it, well, the jumping accuracy with it, the mobility. Oh, we've seen one of these little tanks before and another one set up over towards ramp. So, Ents are looking pretty. If Steco and Crystal continue around the corner for a little bit of a duel, Aerial patrolling to make sure they can't get flanked. And as we can see, things have stalled out quite a lot as the four-man pistol groovy edition of Ents here is just waiting to see if anyone wants to come to their party. And I, I don't think anyone's coming anytime soon. God's Center waiting for aggression. They're taking it slow. Putting everyone at home. Okay. Out. I like the stack though. And that's gonna really ruin everything. <laughs> Crystal, oh my God, he's got more than he bargained for a wild spray of his mouse. And they'll be calling for the top side take, just flanking CTs are locked down by some smokes. And so, yeah, this one, unfortunately for Ents is not going to manifest into anything else. I don't think they necessarily expected that, but as they all come on in, Gathering into what's now covered in flame, even more souring the mood. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Ah, wherever they go, there's just mollies thrown at them, the poor guys. They're in a really rough time. They try to have a nice little party over by ramp. Nah, not allowed. Head up towards heaven. Nah, fires again. But uh, they got the MAC-10, I guess. Oh, okay. Here we go. Lots of kills. Oh, got Sticko down. See if they can get any more damage done. Let's have a look. See what the... Uh... Oh, almost had Sergey. Not quite, though. Important, though. Look at Sergey's money. 5,950 smackaroos. He can drop the AWP over towards Alu for them to go into this first gun round well-equipped. And he's going to do exactly that. So very, very important kills for him to be getting right there to make sure he has enough money to get armor. He's going to be dropped over an M4. And then whatever else he wants to buy, you can see that he has opted to go... Well, he hasn't, he hasn't bought his armor yet. There we go. So he can get a smoke and a flash. He's got a HE and a flash. Curious there. I thought the smoke for zoning is where people seem to be prioritizing on the CT side, but they might have a different idea. We're going quick. It Stick looks on. like it. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Down the vent. Unscathed, too. We'll be taking that. Now, no one's rotated, Lauren. Have they even noted this? They've got to have noted there was a possibility with the smokes and everything up, but he's gotten a great deal of room. He is uh, well and truly in the back lines here, and now he can cover off towards ramp or the vent as they set up the standard wall of smokes towards yard. The bomb now on the back of Maiden, will be corralling its way on over. Zen just doing his best to deny any vent rotation that he can. And everything seems covered off. Look at this, do they know? Are they going to check? Darius got his pistol out. Oh, and he's actually going to get caught. Sticker can't believe his luck. Access and an M4, granted, they'll descend through secret. Alu on the rotate, how can you lock him down though? Smoke grenade or maybe even a frag. Sticko is given the chance, he's spotted him out. Plant from Maiden, oh gosh, but no smoke down. They're gonna hope to try and keep him busy, but yeah, Alu's just popping all the shots he needs to. Kept equal, nice sh shots from Maiden. And look how patient the Yampi's being. This element of surprise, tip of his head, visible. Good toggle, the X-ray, you can see camouflaging that 
yellow face over in the front of the yellow pole is really brutal. Maiden is going to give it a good go, though. Here we go. Oh, this could be everything. Needs to be so crisp with it, though. Now Farley into the 1v1. Gets Sunny down. Very Ooh. well played in the end by Godsend, but it got damn close towards the end there. And that vent drop coming in on the third round of the game is now something Ents have to worry about for the remainder of Godsend's t -Hop. Ariel did get caught out. He definitely got caught out. He had absolutely no idea. When you're jumping through the window, window like that, you're not expecting a player, and that's how it all kicked on off. The fact that they opened back up with some equal trades, I'm curious about the utility usage that was coming in from Godsend there. I didn't really double check who has it and exactly where they were standing, but I felt they had a smoke and Molotovs. They could have corralled off towards the ramp position to have a clean around, but regardless, 3-0. And starting where they kicked off on the previous map of Mirage, very yeah, slowly. It's no fun if you don't get the uh, the combat story, Chad. You gotta. That's true. Got to keep us on our toes. Everyone loves a mighty duck arc. And for anyone that's not over thirty, everyone loves a comeback story. How dare you? You're outnumbered here. <laughs> it's such a great set of films. Who's not seen it? I, I don't know. But you've seen it, right? I don't want to tell Chad. He wears the shirt. He references it all the time. He's got I just, a hat I just, with it on. I just like... nod and exhale through my nose loud, like slightly. So like when when simple goes like ham or someone just starts doing something mad, that's like knuckle puck time, right? You, yeah, you yeah, get that reference in that oh, flying V. And of and then course. If they're winning like a two v five and like the star mm -hmm. duo. They could be like the Bash Brothers. Oh, that was yeah, okay. so many of your references. I really think you should watch that movie, Alex. It'll really, you know, give you some depth in life. Give you a in real life. bit of something. Yeah, Whoa. Ariel. Ah, uh, this shouldn't go well. <laughs> it doesn't, and ramp is under control. Um, I the the thing is, I I've been jaded by Mirage. I've seen these one-sided oh, halves, okay. but we'll see if there's any damage or if you know stability Ooh. comes in. That's not bad from Alu. Another would have been perfect, but it does set up Sunny. And now suddenly this round that seemed all but not that much of a threat has suddenly become a problem. These two players, Alex, aren't looking so pretty. Yeah, Alu's double D followed by Sunny playing with that hole in the wall. Lovely for the trade, but. Does seem like sanity is restored. Sergey and Yampi, though, have definitely got a large chat. Oh, look at that gap. Well found from Farley, exploiting Ooh. a little line of sight he had. Wow. Sergey falls as well. It's a Farley round. Four in it, converting the fourth as well for God's sent. He won the clutch just before, and now he's uh, really bowed them out right there. That did get extremely dangerous. No pun intended with the Danish meaning of Farley's name. Alu with some big ends and... A little hidey hole from some that sounds that the five seven sounds nice when it's slowed down. That was a nice noise. Don't mind that. Oh, what's this gentleman dressed up as today? Wow. Uh, a, a ice hockey, hockey player? Key? Like yeah. a the goalkeeper uniform? Yeah, maybe See? he had us. Goldberg. That's the one. There we go. Very, we you know, how coming. much do you watch this film? Like I just vaguely remember it. My favorite childhood series of films. Got it. The third, one, the third one lost me a bit, but one and two were great. Did you watch it before a match? Do you get you all jazzed uh, up? I'd like the end when um we are the champions is playing mm. after, after the first one. And it's not the smoke wall we highlighted. It is just the standard smoke wall. But you can see Alu still can't see a lot. Yampi yeah, can see some feet. He's going to find one immediately traded. That's fantastic work from Maiden. Damage done as Sergo with the wild spray from range. Oh, hi. Well, uncharacteristic to see Alu not hit that. Maybe I've, I've had my standard set incredibly high by him being really on point for the last couple of games we've seen. Oh, man, Sunny's going to struggle to get more than one here, and that really is the objective and a disadvantage. Finally, he's had a mad one in the round prior, so they will send hit the spear head in. Oh, it's no fun for Sunny. Only a flash as well. Can't retreat off this. This is a, really is a one and done. But that frag on top site. Yeah, Stiko's lurk was tested in lobby, and they're just going to walk away completely silently. Ooh, very loud maiden. Okay, so they all agree they have to be loud now. It does mean the flank is likely. No one's looking, and no one's down. But Ariel will have to descend. Steps now from Sunny. Maiden in a position to punish, but with only 30 HP, margin for error zero. <laughs> oh, that's a gift. Yeah, and Ariel, unfortunately, as gifted as he may be. <laughs> Too much to deal with here. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 don't go back. Yeah. Sticko's got it. Oh, what? Ooh. Okay, hey, Sticko don't got it. Fair enough, Ariel, nice, nice little Imagine, snap. imagine if he gets Farley and runs to the top side. Bolts. Yeah, I mean, it's not planted for main, like that could have got true, true. weird.
Could have got a bit freaky deaky. So 5-0 on the board. That means max loss bonus is in play. 3,400 will be trickling into the bank balance of Ents here, but on the CT side with no saved guns, not a uh, buy territory in the usual case. So you can see here just what they're working with. aero has gone for a UMP, Deagle's in a 5-7 for Sunny. Bit of utility as well. The smoke's to hold them back on early, any early aggress. No Molotovs to force them back. And Godsend can just continue as they were. The other yeah. day we saw them with a really, really slow start on their T side versus Na'Vi, but they were able to bounce back on their CT side and make a relatively competitive game out of it. The fact now they already have five rounds on their T half, if they can add any more, likely to be a sixth right now. And it's looking pretty. Similar smokes, this time they've actually thrown one off to cover off towards the windows. And into top they go. And already with the flurry of frags, puts uh, Sergei on notice and yeah, procedural. Easy. Easy, for lack of a better word. And with Ariel just patrolling these vents, he's been dealt a real dud hand. So God sends T side, posting six on Nuke. Successfully justifying their pick on the T side. Just taking a look at the kill distribution right here because not a lot else is going on otherwise. Unfortunately, Ants aren't giving us anything to write home about. Sergei has four kills. We have three apiece for Yampi, Ariel, and Alu, and only two frags for Sunny. So not a lot of impact being found here within the early stages. But one of the keys for Ants may be aggression, potentially taking a fight to the side of Godsent, going more aggressive towards Yard, denying those crossover smokes, seeing if they can take that fight and win it. And remember, they have to keep in mind that vent drop that we saw on the first gun round of the game where Stiko got down for free, caught Ariel sleeping, having no idea that that did come into play. And if they want to use, if they want to rinse and repeat that type of a strategy with the smoke wall in tandem, separately, however they want, they're two positions which, which Ents have to respect, which in turn, it softens up other parts of the map, okay? So now maybe we don't have a, a game helper over towards ramp. Maybe it's just one individual over towards ramp to have to deal with everything. So they could go for a pounce onto ramp after doing the smoke wall and yard. It'll be forcing a rotator to get towards that vent quicker or to get to the lower bomb site quicker if they think someone has dropped under. There's a lot of problems that can really start to come in for ends. And the way to deal with it and the way that I was speaking about was to that aggression. If you take the fight and you actually have the information on where God sent want to go, you're not chasing your ass. You're actually... Uh, well, we'd say it, Australia. You're not a headless chook. Yeah, headless chook chasing your tail. 9 0 for Farley. I wonder if he can maintain that. Watch him die first. <laughs> Why have you done it? Why have I done curse. it? Curse. Why have I done it? Crystal fell foul to the curse. Sticko this time again. Oh, not able to make it to the vent this time, but perfectly positioned to do some damage if he gets the opportune moment. Spraying in. Goes past Sticko. The flash there to set him up for success. Oh. And Sonny's dead all day of the week. Nicely played Go by on. Sticko. Sticks oh. in the landing and through the smoke. You can't ask for anything more. Perfection. Top site taken. Bomb. Likely planted. Looks like it's just lying idle on the top site. They don't have to rush that at all. Farley's given the responsibility as his heart is still beating in the undefeated spree that is nine and zero. Sticko, perfect positioning from him. It's it's simple. It's like very effective in tier one Counter-Strike. I've seen multiple players, if they don't get caught in the initial spray, yeah. a lot of players are very good at catching that spray and, you know, they'll pivot between some shots in the smoke towards the door and to the walkout. But yeah, with one flashbang, you could see how effective that was. He just has to have the conviction to follow and chase that CT vent player. Really cool. It is It is a nice variation, right? And, and that's what they're playing with right now Ooh, is variations. On. Run boost. Ali's Hello. not ready for this. Oh, it's over, over the top. Over, oh, no, it's oh. not. <laughs> oh. Could have been. Should have been. Oh. Not to be. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, Alu holds on to the AWP. I'm trying to find some positives for Ents, but if Bad Churchill comes back out for a little second, they're 7-0 down. CT side of Nuke. Their frag distribution is, as I mentioned before, very, very limited. The kills that Alu got there are not impact frags, right? Those are just stat padding frags. They don't mean anything. We don't really count those uh, in any scenario because the money is starting to swell a little bit out of control on the godsend side of things. There has to be a buy coming on through and it's a very odd one. Famous, MP9, M4, Organ and all. That's an interesting CT buy if I've ever seen one. 
So this is where it needs to start. Ants can't continue to let this slip. Even if they start going round for round from here out towards the tail end of first half, they can... Five, five, let's give them five. Five CT rounds is what Ents are going to need to at least have a chance in this map. I needed the number. Thank you, Chad. Eyes on five. Round eight. Alu does manage to connect into the shin of Crystal. Fortunately, he had his god for god sent shin pads on. And now this gets interesting. On the fly, they walk towards May. Yampi trying to actively oh. take that duel, but Maiden, he's very quick yeah. to the trigger. Very, very capable fragger here. And already starting to deny a lot of space. Stiko has just been caught walking out a little unawares. Sunny, with that punish, wants to upgrade his weapon and clear this angle as well. So I get to clear lobby. This is all going to be a changing of the guard here. You'll see a complete reversal. It's T's and CT angles. CT's and T. And with 40 seconds left, that bomb needs to leave Mini at some point. Really is the flipperoo, isn't it? 30 seconds now. Sonny walking back in unannounced. Mace's presence noted. Crystal goes down. It's a bit of a hit and run. He's not going to stick around too much and does get found by Maiden in the end. So trading it back into what? A 3v3 now. Zen, this is ballsy. He knows it's likely Lobby was foregone, but with Alu emerging from the hut, he does have a chance for the flank. Here's a scope. Farley on sight. Sergei hunting for the heaven. He, I think Sergei's frag must be the one they're waiting for. Ariel jiggles and confirms the orb's still on sight. And there goes Sergei. Now they have to go. And there's the frag they were waiting for. Alu to clutch. He needs another. It does find Maiden. Surely not. So clean. One on one. Okay. Fakes it. Leads Zen. And he's so close. Nearly puts his eye to the scope. Zen blows his eyes clean off. And that's eight for God's sent. This T-side spree is getting out of hand. You can see where the gap was, right? With that rotation from Zen in towards Squeaky and Alu sneaking into Hut and not making any noises, there was the gap and there was the chance that, that one was going to be done and dusted. As soon as he postures out, I think Farley's surprised that he was being Hut because they would have assumed it was clear. So Maiden st stepping out wide, he goes down, and then Zen is lucky there's no kit. Alu could have made something of that. Yeah, you're right. Okay, this so is the smokes, lots of them. And Yampi's just lying within them. He's going to get sprayed down, surely. They're, yeah, you can see they're just, they know what it could be. But how committed to clearing are they? Will Yampi find his gap? Here it comes. Alu to deter. One, um, two. two. Oh, the third. It could have been lovely again. Alu, though, making some room here, but it's still not converting to rounds. Keep in mind, we're, we're looking for that final punch to come through, but they are getting these T's surrounded, but these T's... Wait, what? Yeah, I... They were locked in. Yampi I don't know has why. top of secret, right? Yampi's top of secret. They Sergei's can't get vent. out. Sergei was vent. He could have just covered off from the vent position unless he thought they had already gotten past. Mm, perhaps a gap in his knowledge. That's a good catch from Stiko. He's often given that lobby responsibility and you can see that with his patience, it often prevails. Ariel, the nod of, I know I'm screwed. A hard shot for Farley to hit here. It will just be a tip of the head and a reaction shot. Now dead. Ariel gone. Three for Farley. With a 13 KD at the moment. We had a very good start in the first map of Mirage, if you remember. On his first half, he was looking very, very good. Cooled on the T half, but so did the entire team of Godsent. And that was a, a gap that they had left within their map pool. Something that we were saying a little bit earlier. They haven't been playing Mirage. They don't have a single official with Farley on Mirage. The last time they played it was back in January with Makalele. So for them to be allowing it to be floated through, they did a decent job. It was a close affair. Heads towards the top. Could be another one of these pounces. Oh, they're backing off. Never mind. Stiko's just dealing with any aggression. They're going back to set up the wall smokes for Yard. Yampi's trying to play spoiler. Maybe that'll deter them from going for this. Right. I mean, forcing him off this line is certainly not something out of the uh, T side playbook. Smokes and a Molotov usually solve that mystery, and there they go. Oh! Yeah, he's rumble. Oh, Crystal running out of bullets. Eight. Down, Sunny, one for one. Top side's the target. Bombs there with Zen. Yard, distracted. Oh gosh, it's scary. Stuff all over the board. Everyone's taking damage from somewhere. Finally, Ariel and Yampi are both added to the tally. Should be the plant, Alu. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's sketchy, but up to heaven. Bomb has been planted. I never want to write Alu out of a clutch. No. 
But I think he knows when uh, even he might have hit his limit. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's realised that one. Oh, I don't know if they'll hunt him again. <laughs> they can just let them hold on to guns at this point. The max loss bonus is happening every single round. 10 to 0, Lauren. I don't, what do you what do, what do you say? I mean, this oh. like it is a good tea side from Godsend, yeah, right? For sure, uh, we can sing the praises of the way they're going about things, but Ents haven't been able to change anything up. Doesn't feel like they're finding any impact whatsoever. There isn't much we can say. We can give the big thumbs up to Godsend. But we also need to question a little bit of how Ents can be dealing with this, what they can actually do, mm. how they can try and fix it. Holding onto the AWP, it's a good start. He can drop across another AWP if they wanted to go double AWP CT sided nuke with him and Yampy, but it will be an hey. F4. So uh, let's see, I, I, when you're 10-0 down, you may as well start buying out for the rest of the game. Right? I, I, I find it difficult at this point of the match to go, okay, yeah, now we'll take another eco. Just, you may as well continue to buy in, keep those guns up, give yourself as many chances. I said five at this point. Can I can I adjust the number, Alex? Does it still to be five? Uh, three at this point would be good. Okay. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Looks very good for godsend. Yeah. Still flawless. Alu tags Stiko through the vents. That's enough to deter the run. So much attention has to be put here. I, I love the fact that Sticko being in that position, constantly being a threat, has caused the adjustment from Ents now. Yeah, I mean, Bogdan's Law in play. Low HP on the AWP. And to test Mr. Ariel, he lands a dink onto Crystal as well. Gathering some ground, ramp room denial. Five versus five. They're so happy to deny info and then regroup. This is You've seen this. This has kind of been their whole strap book. It's make sure no lobby pushes and then go back to outside smokes, then finish top. I mean, they they, they definitely have got a good sus on the uh, the nuke map, at least the T side. Let's see if Crystal's going to go down to the deep here. Oh, a chance for Sergey, but squandered. Siampi to draw first blood, and now another chance falls by the wayside. Farley, Zen into the site. Top site lost. Smokes are down. Ooh, fireball spray, Zen. Half health now, thanks to Yampi's bullets. But what's the go? What? It's Ariel, off this flash. Trying to make some space to legs break and damage inflicted. Poor Sunny. Has done a lot of the heavy all lifting. Low. They're all low. This is very viable. You'd have to wide swing at this or Damage oh. inflicted, upgrades so low. Yeah, that's, that, that Stiko has taken damage from two different players. An AWP bullet through a wall and a FAMAS as well, but he lives to tell the tale. And I wonder if that... Of course, this is a knowledge that we have over Sunny in terms of how much damage there's been inflicted. He'd probably be more intrigued had he known. Yeah, 1v3 is very difficult to win. Oh. Uh, nothing, nothing's working. Nah, uh, it's not, is it? I, I, do we start, at what point do we do we start going, all right, guys, let's find a concede button in Counter-Strike. No, you never give up the Counter-Strike, ladies and gentlemen. There's always a chance, of course. Of course there is. It's felt pretty dire and pretty bleak many a time before, but that's what makes this game exciting, that you can come back from these deficits, these margins. You get another chance. You get to go to their side. You get to see if you can do it. So let's see if Ents can do anything. Round 12, 11 to 0 in favor of Godsent. Blistering pace in terms of just the way that they have been adding rounds to the board here. Up close and personal, Yampi again. Crystal aggressive towards Yard. This time crossing over towards Secret with three others in tow. Can they find Yampi? Oh, he will strike first. The Maiden goes down, a key factor here. Yeah, he was one of the best at finding them. Now hunting through the smoke, a dink for Farley. He'll have to run through the rest of this round with just a, a scrap of health to his name. Stiko still being a rascal, still keeping Sunny honest. He can't assist out Yard. He can't try and trade off Yampi because as soon as he turns his back, Stiko's there to keep him honest. Ariel now the next to be tested by the ever-present Stiko. Good angle and good frag. This has to be the round they can. It has to be. No all excuses. Numbers advantage. Farley tagged to over even extend that sentence. All gone. Okay, this I guess this is the, the big shot, right? We've got 43 seconds. This players posted up on upper, but Crystal's over by secret, so this could be a Let's have a look, see. Sergey keeping his head down. Zen now. No idea. This player's posted up. Slowly working it. Keeping Sun as ever. Wins the fight against Sunny, so now it's game on. Calls Sergey into question. He gets it. Bomb goes down. Now, Crystal found 
This looks like the first one. I think at 10 HP and all folly, 13 seconds, nothing to be done now. It's a with a whimper, but it's around. <sighs> so Ants are able to post there first. CT side nuke, in case you're not uh, necessarily a Counter-Strike fan, maybe you're just tuning in for the first time. Traditionally, the map is very, very CT sided. In recent times, it started to trend where the T sides on the attacking side, we're able to get many more, but we're talking about 9-6 halves. We're not talking about 11-4s. We're not looking at a scoreline as drastic as what we have on our screens right here. So let's see. Orps out. Org again for Ariel. Couple of defuse kits. They finally have some utility. I said three with the adjusted amount available. Four is still on the cards. It's Crystal looking to lurk in that smoke like we've seen before. Sunny on top of the heart. He could ruin this. Yeah, he's very cognizant of the potential walkouts. One of the very best in that heart position. Back to turn, no one goes down. Maiden's in trouble too, but jumping down was Sergey. Oh, Sunny wants to fight. Oh goodness, they're just feeding them. It's feeding time here at the Nuke Zoo. And God sent, my goodness, they have been sated. Bomb needs to be retrieved. And that's not easy feat, a flash to encourage it. Where do they take this now? At least they've got the bomb, so they've got options, right? They've got that one little tick in the box here. So God sent not out of it. They don't have much step now. Any util left? One molly. So everything else is going to be heads up Counter Strike at this point. It feels. Curiously, there. I think they just want to maintain control of Squeaky because if Zen finds some room or gets a kill, or could maybe even get across to Secret, maybe they'll want to go for a vent drop. Potentially coming around from main to give them another angle as well, but Alu, he is present. He's seen the arm. That's enough to at least give him an idea. Oh. Yampi, got to be careful here, though. Made it made it so far ahead. Well played by Yampi to keep at least a little bit of consideration in mind. It could be a possibility. Farley and Zen, the last two alive now. Alu going to shove him down the vents as Ariel caught, but still, surely this is another one for Ensi. It is. Two on the board now. Okay, okay. Got a bit, got a bit sketchy towards the, uh, like it. the start of that one. I like that they were ready and willing to fight. They wanted to stop the full five-man roster from flooding out of the lobby. Makes a lot of sense to contain. But there's Yampi trying to get them back into the mindset. I like him getting them fired up, dude. I mean, that was one of the things that stood out to me when we were first asking about the Yampi pickup. Yeah. Was that he's a motivator. He's like a loud, you know. I mean, nice. Look, look at the interview. You know, he does. He was much more communicative and and capable of expressing his emotions. He had some sass. Yes, it was nice to see. And I think that's probably you know that's it's quite rare to see. Alexi was one who brought that fire as well. So good to have it back on the Ents roster. Perhaps sometimes it's easy for the. Uh, the negativity or the absence of anything to uh, to, ling to linger in your minds longer than it needs to. Two have descended very fast on this. We've, we haven't seen people follow through. Ariel breaks the wall, the blast, trying to suggest he's playing close, but into the site with only a UMP. It's going to be real tall order for him. Door open. And look at that, nearly two. Well. Bomb can't quite go down uncontested. He has a potential for the dunk, and now he's a bit late on it, but made it not long for this world. Dunked on. Deco trades. Looking to descend the ramp. This is an important power position he has to maintain. They will descend the vents loudly. No subtlety here. The last standing bastions for the T-side in this post plant. Very present on the side. Molly goes in. Sticko truly up for the task. Believing in Farley to keep him covered and it's, it's worked perfectly. You couldn't ask for much better in this and Sergei knows that this is all but over in this one. To be able to pull this off would be somewhat of a miracle. One flash and three to find. Farley denies and God sent. Living up to the name here, this has been an exceptional T side so far. I mean, I, I think a lot of it does also come down to the questions we're going to probably put to Ents on this half, that it simply wasn't quite up to what we expect. But for God sent to take that opportunity deserves the credit there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it, it's also Ents just getting caught out by the individual jewels. You know, yep. Farley, Maiden, they're all keeping up. Stiko on 15 as well with his lobby lurks. Look at Crystal's kills to death. <laughs> oh, yeah. We love a supportive They're player. winning 12 to 2. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, the it's poor guy. Perfect. He's there to set it up, make the space, find the calls. Yampi in the smoke again. They've been f struggling to deal with him. Stiko just dealt with everything. It is all on to the aforementioned Yampi. Two players have got no uh, 8 HP between the two of them after that initial containment of the uh, lobby aggression. Well, this one he has to go for, so maybe that HP will come into play this time. Oh. 
Here we go. Yumpy now. Sticker would be the first. Clean as well. That's important. Now the last two. How do you get past them? He's close to the bomb plant. He's got the kit. He's got the smoke. He's well equipped here for this. Yeah, they've seen his toes going up, so they will have finally trained on this location. If he looks for a fight, it should be the Orpah's Paradise. But not when he takes his head off like that. Really on for it here. Yampi has a smoke and a kit. The smoke has been thrown down to make it awkward as well. Zen just has to play the time. It's on his side. The smoke from Yampi and that kit. This is going to get scary. Fakes it, hoping to draw that fight. Decon steps. He's using every tool in his arsenal not to take that to right. He's Direct going for fight. it. Fight. Zen, knife out, needs to spray. He's got Ooh. it. God sent 13. My goodness, what a half. God sent fighting straight back. Fire with fire. And this series looks like it's set for three. Don't die around this neighborhood. We used to sell a double pills, young and misunderstood. Tell me what is changing from your point of view. A smaller circle, but the range is some deja vu. I recognize my future, and there is nothing with you. Unless you turn your boat around, success might come a future. But unless you analyze in depth, that we're steps away from death. A thousand possibilities act on a Johnny Depp. For real. Cause we're alone sometimes. Trying to know what part brought us down in here. I don't wanna be stuck in countless doubts. I just wanna smile and run away from you. I swear to God, man, I just wanna be a model for my brother. Hey, I just gotta work until I'm on the covers. Hey, hey, I just gotta work until my son's in trouble. Hey, hey, I just wanna make it proud to be my mother. Wish we could learn how to love our mistakes. Straight from the jump and not wait for an answer. Wish we could smile when she spoke nowadays Change our reactions You just gotta
Dobson pulling themselves back together after being dismantled on map one. 13 to two, scoreline wise is pretty condemning, Chad, but also Mirage was 11 to four on the half, but Nuke's a different beast. Yeah, I think Ed's gonna have a lot more of a tough time getting back into this one right here. And well, especially so if they're unable to convert the pistol round. You can see the odds from GG better at the top of your screen. Still favoring Ed's, I assume that's for the series. We have one more map to go after this one. If they can lock this out here with Farley's aggression over towards Ramp, it might be good night. Yampi's kicked things off in a good stead, and now it's just Stiko to defend. With a tease with the one man up to the good. We get to see what that intended utility is going to be put towards, hopefully. Sergei still waiting for that to be put into position. You're seeing it coming through right about now. CT's going to be posted up. Yampi's gone down. And where's the rest of the hit going to come through? Right about here. This is not too bad from the CTs. Feeling unfazed by the pressure coming in now. Just Alu. Yeah, and it's done well to find one. So low, though. And that's finished off nicely by Crystal. Finding two frags. Doubled his score in the first round of the first half, second half. That's not too shabby. The thing is, if you win in this fashion and, and you called your team on a T-half like that, as an in-game leader, don't worry about the kills. Dude. You feel like such an absolute monster, but the stat lines... You don't have to make excuses for him. Everyone understands. I'm making excuses for me. That used to be me. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, pump up some of my previous problems. Yeah, but but I called a really good T-half, so, you know, guys, it was all fine. Why do I sound like I'm down at the beach or something? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I also, I, you know, I'm, I'm so used to us seeing, you know, fragging IGLs now. I, I didn't think there was a world where you could still have someone. There's a few of us left all over. All right, all right. The nade could do some work. See if it's chunky it is. This could be nasty mm. for those T's, but they survived. They're, they lost Yampi on the way, but they're still standing. Yeah, and they're already deep into the site. Smoke on the decon. Sound cues are plenty. Maiden trying to dunk on Aerial with that M4, and it's going to do significant damage to both. Sunny catching the brunt of it. Oh, I like that smoke. That's going to work wonderfully. Yeah, they have to push through that. Where's Aerial in all this? I guess taking down Sticker out of everyone is a huge scout to claim as the M4, of course. The only one the CT's had. Now, the Molly. Ariel has to stick this out, turns the flash at the right time. Crystal offers himself up as a gift, but now they've got to stop it. Yeah, you can see what his intentions were. Draw the cross there, Alu goes down. They're running out of time here, Lauren. This gets really awkward here if Maiden doesn't find that frag. Okay, Sergei, okay. it's all about the plant. They know where he is, though. They should have the defuse got it so close. He's trying to keep them busy, but no, not to be. Ents with just the second round force break back into Godsend. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, maybe we do have a couple more rounds in this game yet to be played. Ents in the clap of Yampi. This is how we kicked off the round right there. Stiko going down towards ramp after the initial frag. And for coming into play with Ariel getting a kill onto Crystal. And uh, not enough time. It's a problem we all have. Not enough time in our days. They go pretty quick. You get home. You realize you gotta go to bed. Or is that just me? I have plenty of time, do you think? No. You're up in the morning, though. You're out I'm a doing morning stuff. boy. I'm a morning lad, yes. Mm -mm. Treasure the evenings, you know? Get Still rocking the night nice hour lifestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good time, you know, working on it. But uh, speaking of working on it, obviously Ents trying to build something here. It's, it's not going to be pretty, and it's going to be arduous, and it has to be almost perfect to do anything, which is obviously why we often say these comebacks, yes, they can happen, but they're very hey. unlikely because things can go wrong and players can hit dirty little shots like that and suddenly you're in a 4v5. There shouldn't be threats, but if they keep offering them up, we'll see if anyone else can capitalize. Oh, dear. this is really strung out. Ooh. It's done well to just keep them yeah, locked down. Admittedly, the numbers do look indicative of a chance, but health just not so much and they will just start to cower with what little they can scavenge crystal maiden with a galil finally only on that desert eagle probably given a little bit more liberty okay that's a decent find as well right there 
So they're going to have enough weapons to spread into the next round. And I want to explain this to everybody. So if you just take a quick look at the right-hand side of your screen, you can see that Crystal has a scout as his primary. That 5-7 that he just picked up is his secondary. He can give that to either Zen or Stiko. The same for Maiden. He has the Galil, but he also has a Deagle. So he can drop one of those two weapons over to one of his other teammates, and that'll allow them to have a potent round going into the following, which will be round number 19. See here, this is the opening from Stiko. Unfortunately for him, that was all... He was really able to muster with defending that lower site. And there are the two kills. So it's only a couple rounds. You know, you don't need to, to panic too much if you are on the side of things for Godsent here. You can take a couple of risks. Uh, and I would like to see in the earlier gun rounds that they do exactly that. If you just play default the entire time, and then we get down to the scoreline coming back to like 14-10, yep. and then you try and take risks, well, they're a little bit more expected in the late game, at least in my opinion. Bades towards the top site, but... Not down the vent. Sunny tucks in behind it. It looks like they're aware. Yeah, I can't get down. They were ready for that. 100%. To outside. Smokes will be arriving just as the Sticko Deagle peeks up for some info. And another Ooh. clean headshot. He's sending them into the grave. He wants to take us to three. God set double peeking, and Alu collects them both. That's problematic. So another similar story for Stiko gets the first and immediately watches his team get removed from the server. Oh, that's a real chance for Crystal. Low HP player as well. And now he's brought another lower. Yampi connected. And oh, Sergei big... softened up. These are colossal. Nice. See Crystal given a chance to maybe do some more damage. He wants that info, wants to contain them. He knows it's likely he'll be pushed on if he doesn't keep jiggling. That's why you're seeing such a dynamic stance from him at the moment. Jampy's found the off angle though, so there is a matter of time. The wide angle from this window would find John Jampy, but oh, he's doing it. Oh, did you see him? No. Yeah, baits the shot though. Barrel was enough, and up he goes. <laughs> and yeah, the T's are being made to work for this one if they fancy it. It's looking quite like a godsend round with those tags coming in. Suddenly that 5-7, the Mac 10, it all looks quite tasty, but Crystal keeping the time going their way, just Buying time, being a nuisance, slithering around the map, but it does look like the T's have made up their mind. But with only 12 seconds, they've really got to wriggle on as Sticko's going to be lingering down towards the bottom. If he stops the plant, it's game over anyway. He's going to try it. Quick little hit and run. Yam goes time. down. Right, no time. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't die after time, Sergey. That would be worse. Oh, okay. All right, all right. That could have been absolutely catastrophic. If Sergei went down after the time, lost the AK-47 as well, and the flurry of all of that, just let's move to the next map. Let's just go to Inferno. Yep. But uh, this was a good shot here from Stiko yet again. And all that damage. That, look, they were able to get a potent buy because they saved two primaries. <laughs> it's a perfect example, yeah. yeah. I'm so glad you actually took the time to highlight the retrieval process, and then we saw it translate to a, to a round win as well. Very cool. God sent on... Map point, and plenty of them. My goodness, 11 map points to work with. That's uh, quite the absurd tally. Sounds good, doesn't it? It does. I think I wouldn't mind that. Harley, lots of targets. He's confirmed it with a safe relocation. Lots of space here from the Finns. Oh, they could pin to heaven so fast. They want to take lobby. Oof. And it goes one for one. Maiden keeps us... Under lock and key, descending secret, two of them. Yampi to cover. And oh. this hold from Yampi. Saying a little short of the mark there. Yeah, it looks like his crosshair was just off from getting the dink, so not necessarily fluffing that one, but Whoa. this flank as well that's coming in from Zen. Uh, sorry, Stiko is going to give them a lot of information. Nobody's home. Go Am I lower. Aerial? No, Ariel is going towards ramp, not up towards the ladder. You can cut off the, the ramp rotate. Hey, it's not anymore. Oh. Farley's so aware. And now it gets awkward again. Looks like two frags is all Godsent need to pick up their map pick in a convincing fashion as well. They're going to be kicking themselves that they couldn't convert their 11 round T side on Mirage. Could very well have been a 2 0. Not the dialogue they'll be saying, but one perhaps has crossed their minds. Sunny to clutch. Seiko does go down, and Farley's the one to secure it. So 16 to 4, the final score. And we head and prepare for our third map. Godsend, that is clinical stuff.